from the breaking news and weather authority. This is News 10 at 6. Hundreds of people at the state capitol today rallying both for and against gun control. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Johnson. On one side of this debate, a national grassroots movement founded after the shootings in Newtown, Connecticut. On the other, dozens of people who want to show there are law abiding people who carry guns and don't believe more laws will solve Americans violence problem. What we're doing is giving out the voice for common sense. We're not on either extreme. We are representing the middle. That middle, according to Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America, is closing the loopholes that put our children's safety in jeopardy by banning assault weapons and requiring universal background checks. We need to protect our families. We need to protect our children. And the way to do that is through the legislative process with comprehensive common sense gun laws. Members of Michigan Open Carry held a counter protest during Saturday's rally and say a lot of what the group is proposing is not common sense. Gun control does nothing to stop criminals um, from doing what they're doing. Um, gun buybacks don't work. Do you think the criminals are going to uh, give up the guns which they use for their trade? Would a, a carpenter give up his hammer? Police disagree. Captain Darrell Green with the Lansing Police Department says closing loopholes in gun laws are necessary because criminals are getting smarter. Some of our savvy criminals know how to navigate the system concerning those loopholes and we want to show support for common sense, uh, universal background checks for guns. Whatever side you fall on in the gun control debate, one man from Fenton put it this way, just speak up. All the moms and dads in our country, we have to do something positive. We've got to turn the pain, the hurt from that into action. We need to speak up. We need to call our senators, call our congressmen, ask for something that's common sense. Earlier today, the mother of a Newtown school shooting victim stood in for President Obama during his weekly address, delivering a powerful call for new gun control laws. We'll hear what she had to say tonight at 11. Wind, rain, sun and sleet. We've seen it all across mid Michigan today, and it was enough to delay today's MSU baseball game against the Indiana Hoosiers. So what can we expect as the evening goes on? Meteorologist Laura Hartman is in now with a check of the forecast. Hi, Laura, what can we expect? Hey Brian, not only was that MSU game delayed. Conditions are getting better in the city of Alma today. I was there yesterday as rising water from the Pine River caused dozens of people to evacuate their homes and move to higher ground. The National Weather Service says the water level fell more than a foot overnight, but it is still about a half a foot above the flood stage of eight feet. The river is expected to fall below that by midnight. Sometimes April showers include snow like this mess up north. 9.4 inches of snow has fallen in Marquette since yesterday. That ties the record snowfall for April 12th. The first record was set in 1972. Consumers Energy says nearly 8,000 people are still without power because of that storm, which also included high winds and freezing rain. Well, local parents are getting some peace of mind when it comes to the health of their student athletes. News 10's Alyssa Fenske reports on the free heart screenings being offered and what a difference that preventative measure can make. Mother of three, v News 10. The McLaren Cardiovascular Group is planning a second free screening in August. It will be located at the new office in Grand Ledge. We'll let you know when they start taking appointments. Well, dozens of people had breakfast with the teen who likes to be called the Hulk. Today, a pancake fundraiser for Brock Brown was held at Vandercook Lake High School this morning. The seven foot five teen has Soto syndrome, a disease that causes him to keep growing. Today's fundraiser will help pay for his needs like clothes, a custom made bed and medical expenses. It's very great to see the community come together. Brock's family just recently found out that their home is contaminated with black mold, so they'll also be looking for a new place to live. His family tells us they are extremely grateful for the community's support. Only minor injuries to report from an accident in Lansing this afternoon. It happened around 430 on Cedar Street, not far from Mason Street. The driver of the truck collided with the silver car, causing it to veer off the road and crash into a pole, smashing that front end you see there. We'll keep it right here. Laura tells us if our Sunday will be any better than today. Your hour by our forecast is next. Plus a popular event to make sure every girl has a dress for prom is just hours away. That and more later on News 10 at 6.
Now, your hour-by-hour forecast from the Weather Authority. Here's meteorologist Laura Hartman. Well, if you don't like the weather right now, just wait a few minutes. It has been across the boards today. I know a lot of games canceled because mm -hmm. of the unpredictability. And you were just saying one moment you're looking at ice pellets and snow falling, and the next minute it's done. That's the way it's been all day, and it's really hard to plan outdoor activities when you have a day like today. We will have improvement for tomorrow, but first I want to show you this pinpoint upper radar. It's gotten better outside. A lot of those showers have low 40s and mid 40s for Friday and Saturday, but it looks like next Saturday, our first dry day, completely dry day, in about seven days. Monday, longer. Monday, take a sick day, take a vacation day. I hope so, yeah. Those temperatures at least are nice. A lot of people staying positive about that. All right, thanks, Laura. Mm -hmm. More news ahead at six, including dramatic video of the aftermath of a plane crash in Bali today. What happened when this plane came in for landing? When we come back. Looking at this video, it's hard to believe that no one was killed in a plane crash in Bali today. More than 100 passengers and crew members survived when the Lion Air Boeing 737 overshot a runway on the Indonesian resort island. 45 people were taken to the hospital for treatment, but none of their injuries are serious. What caused the crash is unclear at this time. An investigation is underway. Looking ahead at tomorrow, hundreds of girls won't have to wonder how they're going to get their prom dress this year. The annual Cinderella's Closet event is tomorrow. Bariyama's Cleaners has been collecting prom dresses for weeks now as part of its annual giveaway for girls who won't be able to afford a prom dress. Cinderella's Closet will open at 9 a.m. tomorrow at the Hazlitt Village Square in Hazlitt. That's, lo that's located near the intersection of Hazlitt and Marsh Roads. If it's anything like last year's, you'll want to get there early because the line will be long. Well, coming up in sports, the Tigers in Oakland looking to bounce back after a tough loss in extra innings last night. Anthony Sabella has a score update and much more next. It's great fun to be with them every day. But going back to the Tigers, they're doing really, really well out there in Oakland, you know, up 7-1, definitely a step up from yesterday. You don't want to lose in the 12th inning. That's never good for your confidence, so it's good for them to come back and, and really start laying it on them. A lot of high hopes for this season. We'll see what yeah, happens. absolutely. We'll see. All right. Thanks, Anthony. Yeah. Laura's back after the break with a final check of the weather. Stay with us. Temperatures do improve 54 on Sunday, 63 on Monday, but a lot of rain left over. Well, that's all the time we have for News 10 at 6. NBC Nightly News is next. We're always online, and we hope to see you right back here tonight at 11.